Prince Harry has an extremely awkward schedule clash in June this year which could risk him having to snub the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Her Majesty is celebrating 70 years on the throne this year with a four-day bank holiday in the summer, from June 2nd to June 5th. It is expected that Harry, his wife Meghan Markle and their two children may take this opportunity to reunite with the royal family, who the Duchess has not seen in two years. Lilibet has never been to the UK or met her father's side of the family, while Archie, too, has not seen them in person since he was a baby. However, one potential problem is that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have another commitment at the exact same time. The Invictus Games, a Paralympic-style event that sees sick and injured military personnel and veterans compete in adaptive sports, was founded by Harry back in 2014 and has been a passion project ever since. Unfortunately, the 2020 Games in The Hague have had to be postponed and rescheduled twice now due to the coronavirus pandemic. The date that is now on the cards is May 29th to June 5th this year dash an exact crossover with Her Majesty's planned celebrations. Harry will likely be expected to be at both events and, like everyone else, is unable to be in two places at once. That said, the Netherlands and the UK are not too far away from each other. Given that Harry usually lives in the US, it may actually be relatively easy for him to flip between the two events compared to flying from his home in California. It could end up being a very busy few days for the Duke and his family if they try to juggle both. What some royal fans may find strange is that the new date for the Invictus Games was announced on July 27 last year. The Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebration plans were announced on June 2 last year. That means Harry would have known about the clash before Invictus Games dates were released, but did not ask for it to be changed. Pod Save the Queen is hosted by Zoe Forsey and features Daily Mirror Royal editor Russell Myers. Mr Myers said he assumes Meghan and the children will accompany Harry to the Invictus Games and that the whole family will use the opportunity of being in Europe to visit the family. He said, it's been a busy year and it probably is a good time to let this year go see what happens next year and hopefully we will see them back in the UK. Because Harry has got the Invictus Games, fingers crossed, so one would assume he will come back and see his family. And again, one would assume Meghan will come to the Invictus Games as well, with the children. So, I think that's probably a fair bet to say that we may see them in the springtime next year, but who knows. Perhaps, then, even if Harry is unable to make it for the Jubilee celebrations, he may come to the UK before or after just to catch up with his family and introduce them to little Lilibet. What's more, it is still possible that neither event even takes place. There is a lot of uncertainty surrounding COVID-19 and what the situation will be like in six months' time. The Invictus Games could potentially get postponed yet again while the Queen's Platinum Jubilee may end up being a stripped-back affair like her husband Prince Philip's funeral last year. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have reportedly been invited for a low-key banquet for Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee celebrations.